When it comes to nonstick cookware, how much does price really matter? To find out, we put some pricey pans to the test because we want to know, does it work? We're here at the Culinary Institute of the Carolinas at Greenville Technical College to find out if these two nonstick cooking pans are worth your money. They're pricey. This one costs almost $100. This one costs more than $200. I'm very curious. Cause Chef Michael Granada and his students are curious about the hex clad pan's unique pattern, which promises to give a great sear. They will also test the Swiss diamond wok. It has three layers of XD non-stick diamond coating. They will see how these expensive pans compare to Chef Granada's $20 pan. We are going to take a stovetop a piece. First, they will sear chicken. The directions say that cooking oil is not needed on these nonstick pans, but can be used. The students season the chicken and heat the pans on a low to medium setting. We should get a little show business sizzle when we lay into the pan. We should get On the plate, Chef Granada said the chicken that was seared in his pan and the Swiss diamond pan had a crispy crust but he did not think the hex clad pan distributed the heat evenly. This one is a little mushy. He also noticed that this $99 pan became discolored after just one use. What does that tell us? Cheaper product. They cooked over easy eggs. That is absolutely beautiful on this Swiss diamond. How are you looking? Chef Granada said that the hex clad pan made the eggs not so easy to right, cook. There. We have major stick. And finally, plain cheese. We're not going to use oil. We are going to go in dry. The cheese stuck to the hex clad pan. That's a disappointment. But they said the Swiss diamond pan did well, and so did Chef Granada's nonstick pan. My $20 pan, my cheese turned out. What a great little crisp. So Chef Granada had great success with his inexpensive pan, but he and his students decided that the Swiss diamond pan performed very well. It does live up to his promises, but is it worth a $300 investment? And that is the question for you, the consumer. Chef Granada said a scratch from metal could ruin a nonstick pan and in that case be a very expensive mistake. The Swiss Diamond and hex clad pans were both sent to us to test. We reached out to the makers of the hex clad pan and as of news time they have not yet responded to our findings. Now also you may remember we have put some other non-stick cooking pans to the test in the past including the Gotham steel pan and the red copper pan. You may have seen those commercials. Now if you would like to see those results I have put the link to that story on my WIFF News 4 Facebook page.